what is happening my brothers and sisters welcome back come in come in today we are talking about jujutsu guys and but today i'm bringing a new video concept to the table bro for now we can call it draw and tell or show and tell whatever i've decided to call it in the title that's the name of it i'm gonna be mixing my usual yapping about anime with my love for drawing anime and manga to be completely accurate so what are we painting today bro you see, you already messed up. What are we drawing today, you might be wondering. Well, today we are paint. Bro, fuck! Today we are drawing the most legendary and underrated fight in Jujutsu Kaisen. Yuji and Todo versus Hanami. Or we might as well call it Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. Because these two jumped the boogie, wookie, dark shit out of Hanami. Oh my god. Bro pulled up thinking shit was sweet after he packed up Inumaki, Megumi, and Maki. But these two brothers rolled Hanami into an all green backwards, bro. Now let's get cooking. For this drawing, I wanted to display the brotherly bond between Yuji and Toto, but also showcase the fight at the same time. So I'm gonna do my best to include both characters. Today I'm drawing on a piece of A3 paper, and we're going landscape mode. Also, I don't really have any other paper sizes, but that's neither here or there. Today I'm just using a normal pencil I had lying around, so nothing too crazy. We ain't bougie with it today. But talking about being bougie, how come this nigga Toto didn't want to help Yuji in his fight at first? Bro for real said, hey, if you can't land a black flash, that's your ass. I ain't jumping in until I see a black flash, little bro. Bro, how come you're calling this nigga your brother, but you won't even jump in to help him fight this big buddy ad, big buff ad, great tatumber cursed spirit? Bro fake as hell. Man, it really be your own niggas for real. But Yuji didn't really care about any of that. He ran the once with Hanami regardless. Bro punched down on the water to create a whole smoke screen. Then he threw a couple of stones, but Hanami ate that. Then little bro came through with a bracy triple kick. <laughs> Damn! Finished the combo with a gut punch. Mink. But Hanami just tanked all of them. Yeah, get your weight up, bitch, Janet. I'm glad Toto decided to help out Yuji. Cause the weight class is off on this one. But the way he slapped little bro and told him to log in? Man, I don't know. Yuji, me personally? I don't think I would let that happen to me. Just saying. Oh nah, he hit bro twice? No, <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't let that slide. But little bro locked the fuck in for real this time. Bro was drooling. I've never seen a more severe case of locked in syndrome since the avatar. Then bro came up close and personal for that. When Toto saw this, he was immediately ready to dick right bro. Come on now. He saw bro had potential and jumped on him like a whole groupie. He knew they were gonna make it out the hood after that one. All bullshit aside, Toto really did put Yuji on game, telling him about cursed energy. He actually done changed this nigga whole life. But this is where they hit the iconic pose together that I'm drawing right now. The rest of this art piece is gonna be pictures of the rest of the fight. Yeah man, let's jump into the crazy tag team we see off the bat bro. Hanami ripped off her bandage, I don't know how she was hiding that swole arm bro. What are we talking about? Big bro gave sleeper build a whole new meaning for real. And bro, I'm not even joking when I say this. Apparently how Hashirama from Naruto was so strong that now they are using Hashirama cells in other anime as well. Cause Hanami whipped out that deep forest emergence, stole Broski's whole flow bar for bar. But both Yuji and Toto were locked in for the Olympics, cause they started doing all sorts of gymnastics. Hanami even came up behind them, tried to sneak him. She thought she had top tier accuracy, like the sharpshooter from the shooting tournament. But they got their spidey senses on. Weave. Then they came together with this power friendship air punch. Hanami felt that shit though, but she despawned her attack. Oh nah bro. Jordan never did that move. I would have quit the game at this point for real. But both Yuji and Toto were moving in sync for real. Because they put their feet together mid-air and kicked each other away. <laughs> bro, she could never say me and bro isn't a good duo. Bruh. These boys are cooking. Even Hanami was like, alright bro. Y'all gotta be hacking because the fuck was that? Now they got back on the ground and Yuji was back to running the once. Is 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 has has mink mink has Toto came from behind with a spin kick, yes. but it was easy reads for Hanami. Get out of here with that weak shit, bro. Some of these trees as well. And then Toto said it was about time for him to lock in and use his curse technique. And I thought, oh yeah, this cookout just getting started for real. But Hanami grabbed Toto's foot and look at bro. He knows it's game over, see. Yeeted him into these trees, and Yuji had to look back and check on his mans. But Hanami said, put your guard up, little nigga. Hiss, hiss, hiss. But just as Toto was about to steal Neji Hyuga's whole flow, 
Sai. Switched places with Hanami. Toto's curse technique is boogie woogie. He basically switches places with anything with cursed energy whenever he claps. Let me just say his hands aren't the only thing he can clap. What? But if you think the Mahito jumping session from season 1 was bad, oh my god bro, you're in for a real treat. Because these niggas jumped the mother nature out of Hanami. Yuji ran up behind her. Over here looking at. Toto swapped places. Meek meek. Swapped again. Us, us, us. Hold this body blow sandwich. Then Toto swapped twice. Yuji came in with the back shots. Ayo. Toto with the two piece. T -t -t. Then Yuji spun back with a brazy uppercut. Oh yeah. The melatonin kicking in after that one. And in the background we see Toto just clapping. Cheering on his man. Then he said let me get one in real quick. Meek meek. Yes. This jumping session is devious, bro. He was so locked into the jumping that he almost started bussing. Toto, my guy, what is that face? Hey, but yeah. Hanami was pressed. Look at that goofy Look ass pose. Me. Watch them knees, boy. The stun lock was crazy because Yuji came back in with another cook. <laughs> And look at Toto, he knew his brother was about he to cook. Yuji jumped into the air, landed a black flash kick to the temple, then came back around with a black flash karate chop. Toto couldn't believe his eyes. His jumping session was so magnificent he started crying for real. This was better than seeing your homie winning a fight after you start playing his favorite anime theme song. Bro came behind Hanami and was about to clap again, but this was a crazy feint. Bro is mad fickle. Hanami was shook with her goofy air. Yuji charged the shit out of this punch landed a nasty cookasin to the kidney oh nah getting hit by four black flashes is insane imagine being the nigga getting hit by the world record for black flashes you have to leave the country after that but what is the rev doing he better stop the fight soon i don't really know how hanami was still hanging with them boys after this crazy ass beating but you gotta respect it but hanami wasn't gonna leave without getting a couple licks in tried to sneak the boys with a couple wood balls but that was all light work easy loop blue lock ain't got shit on my boy yuji total smack that shit to the side hanami tried to sneak broski Block. Man, the shoulder throw is crazy. Followed up with a kick for the guard break. Then another kick for the clash. Rolled over the back. Clapped for the fake out. Yuji was ready with the knuckle sandwich, but Hanami was with it. Mix. Ooh. Then she pulled up the piranha plant straight out of Super Mario. Toto shot off his cursed energy and tanked that shit. Hanami was flabbergasted. Bro hit a quick emote mid-fight. Yuji came flying in with a kick. Hey! And Toto must have put all of his XP in stealth, or Hanami must be high off her own supply. Because Toto snuck up on her, like bro for real hit the tippy toes. Bro, goofy as hell. Watch your six beat and Oh nah, axe kick to the shoulder is pure disrespect. Then bro picked up playful cloud and hit the Bruce Lee on the big tree build air. And just as homegirl was about to pull off the domain, this sexy nigga Gojo broke the veil. Stopped the whole fight. He made Hanami leave the lobby. Damn. Things were just getting fun, but hey, as I said, man, that fight was insane. I remember watching this shit back when it was released. I was so hyped, bro. Season 1 of JJK actually had hella fights, but this one gotta be the most underrated fight. It's so slept on for real. The fight choreography was insane. Mava Studio cooked with this one, but hey, so did I with this drawing for real. This is the final result of my first drawn tell. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to the fight review while watching me draw. I don't, I don't know, I might do this more often on the channel. I really enjoyed making it, so it's also a bit different than my usual talking head review videos. Yeah man, thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I appreciate y'all wholeheartedly for real. And as always, remember to take care out there because it's a crazy world. People getting jumped and if you are really unlucky, you might end up with some guy on YouTube drawing the scenes of you getting jumped. And also remember to stay beautiful. Alright, much love.